This tutorial is on the use of the uh, little toggle button over here, which is labeled P and T. Uh, P stands for performance, T stands for transcribe, and the one that is selected is the one that is in gray, and in this case you can see that transcribe is selected. What these are are two different algorithms that power the tempo and pitch change. And generally speaking, if you are changing things 15% or less, which in my mind is more for performance purposes. If you're going to change something a half step or a whole step, if you're going to change the tempo by a small amount, then you should select the performance algorithm because it will give you better overall quality or sound characteristics. Now, that being said, if you listen to these two, I'm not certain that 95% of you will be able to hear any difference because the quality is phenomenal in either case. But the way that the technology was built that drives the sound engine, uh, I can tell you from, a, from the standpoint of an audio engineer that built this, that the performance algorithm will give you slightly better perf um, sound characteristics when you change pitch and tempo when you're within 15% plus or minus of the original. For those of you that are using this as for practice purposes or what I call for transcription purposes, then you should probably use this in the T setting and you, you will get better sound quality, better characteristics in terms of sound reproduction on more significant changes in pitch or tempo. Um, you know, I said plus or minus 15%, that would be roughly 85% for a pitch change. So if you're down in the 50 or 40 or 30 or 20 range, or even below 75%, you should have the transcribe button selected and be using that algorithm. So that's what these two buttons are for and how they're to be used. And with that, we'll conclude this tutorial.